dragon. We'll learn how to harness the power of the dragon, which is the year 2024, with a marker and uh, drawing tools. Those who do not know me, I'm Alina Smolyansky, a certified instructor of Neurographica. If you are not familiar with Neurographica at all, I will explain very short lines. But the, the, the power of Neurographic art, not only on the wavy lines, but also with the intention that you put in the drawing. Clear vision, clear topic, clear idea, and you will do great. Uh, the year of the dragon, you know, according to Chinese um, horoscope and the calendar, it comes on the 10th of February. So the most auspicious day, of course, to make your desires, it's on the 7th of February when we are drawing it. On the 10th of February, when uh, they celebrated the new moon and the new year is celebrated and any other time of the, of the year it's also great that technique will be you can use anytime when you feel a desire to discover your resources to achieve your goals please do that but if you believe of course of the power of the mystical creatures like dragons and area that will be even strengthen your drawing and your idea well and uh, for this i will share a very, a very short presentation if you know that the world's most influential and strong figures were born in the year of the dragon. Abraham Lincoln, Eleanor Roosevelt, Martin Luther King, Marie Curie, Indira Gandhi, Jean of Arc, Bruce Lee, John Lennon, Jeff Bezos, and even Vladimir Putin. The dragon is the only mythical creature in the Chinese zodiac. All the other creatures are animals. Typically, they're charismatic, they're natural born leaders, intelligent, confident, they're naturally lucky and gifted. And also, I would like to mention something special about neurographic art, especially for those who are just starting on this journey. It's doubtful that we can combine some simple drawing and some mythical creature, like fairy tales. But in real life, many of us strive for something that we can't attain for years and years of struggle, like success, wealth, happiness, specific skill. It seems so close and elusive at the same time. We may achieve something for a short time, but then it disappears. With neurographic art, as many other practices, it's not the only practice that you can employ in this particular quality. It's possible to manifest desires and make them reality. Your desires come true. And drawing a dragon, of course, it can change a life. If you believe in this, if you are at least a little bit of belief, if you add to your drawing, that will make this magic, miracles in our own life. So we can use this neurographic art and translate our intention into reality. The more I study neurographica and practice, I realize that it's not about creating beautiful images, but actually the, the more in, tra in transformation, in my own experience, happens when I do a quick sketch, when I need it most of all, without waiting and not even finishing. What I started seeing in Neurographica, it helps release energy that was stored in our limiting beliefs, particularly if we most known the algorithm for revealing, for removing constraints or limitations. So we get this energy and we channel it in the direction where we want to go. And practicing Neurographic art even after a short time, when I just beginning, and that was over five years ago, I realized how my focus increased and my life became, I, I started seeing positivity in every area of my life. And of course, many who practice neurography can share similar results. So now let's talk about the class today and specific the dragon. We will use this idea of the dragon we will be working on resources necessary to realize our ideas. We will have only a couple. You don't need to have many for this. We will combine neurographic art or neurographica with its auspicious energy of the dragon. And we're going to create our own dragons that will symbolize power, strength, fortune, good luck. In general, what the, the name of my video suggests, it's about a good fortune, bringing good fortune in your life. For this reason, the colors that suggested using in, the, in this drawing, and helpful, powerful, auspicious colors are green, red, and gold. A green because of the year of the wood dragon. 
and the wood in changing theory of the five elements, wood associated with green. Well, red is for good luck. It's also the color of power. And the red, you know, red is the most beautiful symbol, uh, color in China, in the East in general, and of course, gold. You may add black, which is always a good color if you in Asian tradition. White will, will have white on paper, but uh, black is also good. I will invite everyone to our drawing room. We have prepared colors. I, I selected, I have green markers today, red just in case. If we need something, I will be drawing with green. I have a dark green, emerald green, and also uh, uh, green colors. There is a variety of green colors. Gold, I do not use gold. Yellow is not recommended. If you can use gold, it's good. But uh, yellow is not a symbol of gold. It's not recommended for this particular site. How we can prepare? I would like you to think about something that you would like to this year, some goal that you would like to achieve. Well, in general, good fortune, and especially for me, as if I'm working on some business ideas, um, for me, good fortune will be translated into uh, financial aspect. Uh, but good fortune for you could be relationship and health and anything else that you can think of good fortune and whatever comes to your mind right now. And I, I start drawing. So I indicate there will be, I position my paper in the vertical, like, a, like power, rising, portrait, more like orientation, upward motion. Just uh, I indicate a space where I am now with my my ideas, let's say, myself. It's not the size, it's more like myself. And even if it indicates the size of my what I'm doing, it's not tiny, it's just my goal. I will also, I let my hand draw it. It's increased. I, I practiced it yesterday and it increased significantly. But all, I also didn't want to make it so big. I just, I, I mean, like my increase, whatever I desire, will be uh, reasonable to my size, especially in the timeline. And, I, and I'm thinking about the middle of the year in, the, in July. It's something I, I start thinking, whatever my goal and me right now, there is a difference, distance between them. And I ask myself a question. What prevents me from jumping from here to here, increasing the size? Bridge the distance, create a bridge here, and also increase the size. So what's, what's there? And in my particular case, so I'm thinking about this obstacle, limitation. So I want to get this limitation and get the energy out of it. So what with the limitation happens, it's like a, a coil, a spring, something we were experiencing in our childhood, typically or sometime in our life. And that prevents that prevented us limitation, what it limitates. We have this nice life energy that wants us to move us from here to there. Life energy. Just life energy, energy. But it becomes suppressed by our limitations. And so what whatever this exists, it becomes like a so in most of our energy is used to hold ourselves in, in here, in this place, in our comfort zone. That most of our energy to restrain ourselves unconsciously. I'm not talking about consciously. Mm -hmm. Conscious when we need something and we're aware, that's different. And that is probably stored somewhere inside. So what happens when imagine when we release this energy, it starts moving in the direction we want and we have to channel it. Not just in the nearest uh, releasing energy, you know, like a catharsis, what we typically practice when we release energy, but also we want to transform and channel this energy. And that's how we get this resource. And as I was thinking about it, why can't I jump right here from there? And moreover, I had some, a few times in my life, when I made this uh, the desired income, I reached it and I got scared. And as soon as I got scared, I dropped back to my low. 
So that was like this. I put effort, I climbed, reached, and then for some reason I got, wow, scared, and I dropped back. And then again, again, I started growing, growing, growing. Again, get to the point, scared, dropped. So, and that was the moment. So I would like to overcome. So what not to be scared? And I said, I was thinking about it. What makes me scared as a fear of standing out. And that was probably from uh, school. And I can share an example. Uh, typically when you uh, ask at school and probably early from childhood age, but particular, your teacher standing in front of the class and start looking at everyone and picking on some somebody to ask to to call to the front of the class and uh, how homework was done and of course everybody just looking down and uh, shivering like shrinking in and afraid even to look up anywhere so that was what i recall so to release this what i perceive as what limitation i'll take my marker and with this one with me present i'm going to draw a small catharsis it's a reasonable size. So I, I get this energy. I prepare myself. If everybody knows how to draw the catharsis. I know that many of you are familiar with this one. So please do not start drowning. Nothing to do. Not to do, to do anything with it right now in a familiar way. As this is enough energy here. I'm going to transform it. Please. Be careful with this practice. I'm going to draw triangles. I'm going to convert this figure into triangles. If you are not able emotionally to handle them, uh, you can draw triangles and then you can soften the corners. I will start drawing triangles using the existing lines. This is so much power. I want to use it. So using the existing lines, I, I draw the neurographic line. Anybody is watching this uh, video, the first video, uh, please check some of my other videos where I explain how to draw the neurographic line. Or just for now, for the sake of this exercise, please remember that you can draw uh, an even line, not even, like without any pattern. So I use this one, this part. I will add this line. Here is one more. Um, Just triangle on its own, and I can use. As many lines as I have, I convert them into triangles. One more line. <coughs> Maybe that will be a triangle. Inner. And with this uh, figure, I start rounding with the idea I connect them. I'm not sure whether I want to do anything with this circle within. If you can handle not rounding this energy in the triangles, not rounding the, the corners, please do it. I'm going to leave them as sharp as they are.
only if you can. If you cannot, please round them. But in the meanwhile, I'm rounding only intersections when connecting the, uh, the triangles. So make them as one unified figure. I'm definitely feeling much more energy now. I rounded only the connecting lines. So here, that's my first resource. I'm going to channel it into... Like, use the power of the dragon, and the dragon, what typically it reminds me, well, a spiral. But basically, what you can think it is its tail, and it's moving forward. And I will use uh, from this anywhere in this figure, I will take one of the lines and draw as a spiral or the idea of the uh, surrounding connection. I mean, maybe there's somewhere in, in here with my. Even I close my eyes, I'm not let my hand draw. Well, and to since we're drawing a triangle, I'm going to draw as some like mystical creature, like a dragon. And smiling, and some typically ears. Oh no! Well, it mostly it looks like a dog. And I can also create his body. There will be place for the wings. Oh, I'm just making it body. While looking at my drawing and this dragon, anybody could believe that I'm an artist, but... So the idea is to take energy from here, whether it's a dragon or a snake or a spiral, doesn't matter. So when I released that resource within me, I also would like to indicate a couple, two resources that will help me to move towards my goal. It, it's even, like, see how the drawing changed from yesterday. So this was my practice yesterday. So the dragon only touched, so I had a smaller uh, final goal. And the dragon is only touched with its nose. Here, it came right in the middle. So that was, uh, I had a couple of drawings yesterday. Uh, so I worked on this uh, topic. And as I'm thinking about it, I also would like to have uh, resources that are necessary for me to achieve this goal. The, as a result of my drawing, my my goal came closer to me. 
and I will draw like two wings. They also please. They also triangles that indicate my resources that will can lift me and move towards uh, my my goal. So one of of course it's a desire, drive, enthusiasm, good luck. And they, this one is also a resource that the more practical, like uh, skills, knowledge, uh, technology. Now that's uh, like my. Well, my uh, my resources. That it can lift me towards my goal. And of course, I can strengthen it. And from now, we can continue with our, uh, when we know. It's amazing how it changed within one day. I couldn't touch. Now I'm right here. I can draw more of a spiral, taking my energy from here, from my uh, released resource. And draw it forward to uh, this more like a, a external resources. No, I wouldn't say the desire is my external resource, but more my interest. Uh, yes, it part of it, of course, it desire ex internal. I have to be, but I also use some resources to nourish this desire, like to, to warm it up, to make it the burning desire. And of course, in the, the, all this in this drawing will be connected. You can draw as many lines as you feel, like what, how much you feel it's necessary for your for your re realization. When you feel that you complete the drawing, you can finish it as much as you can, uh, as much as you want. Based on your feelings. With the colors, because uh, you can probably guess, they're the green, lots of green. The dragon himself, various shades of green. And I think that the resources, I would like to make them red. Triangles, yeah, that's probably more energy. I would say that, especially the apex.
I can feel that I, I have much, but like really energized after uh, drawing. So I would like to, on the background, of course, I would like to connect as we hear, as we you know, do in Neurographica, but I will use green pencils to make a line softer. So the focus will be on this main spiral, the dragon. More shading, dark green. So what is cool? I maybe if I get uh, gold, I may just sprinkle with some gold color. Oh, that's good. It was a good comment about feeling more confident with triangles. That's we need to use our resources and pull them with, with triangles with drawing more energetic drawings, especially now with this. The springtime. I want to get another color, but uh, So this is the idea of the drawing. So you can take it as much as you want, as many lines as you need.
record that will be continued from here. Insignificant some lines that just to show that we're not alone in this universe with our, our dragon is connected. Our goal is connected. With this drawing, with this resource, you can use your own judgment, your own feeling. Draw as many lines as you need to release energy from here and draw it towards your goal. Okay? Draw as many lines as you need. That's probably this one I would... It's a, it's more acknowledge and the Technology external resource because I have to use uh, the sources to learn material. Uh, I don't want to have it. More pointy triangle. Reduce energy. His nose is also pointy. We need more to draw as many as many lines as you need to feel that you used to release this energy from here and channeled it towards your goal. So when, with the other elements that we know from Neurographica, if you feel like you want to, you need a strength to add strength to your uh, drawing by using the field line. I, for me, it will be probably one field line that comes from the center, this beginning of the spiral, from that resource that I'm inner, that I'm releasing energy and sending. And I will send it. like a wider line, like a stronger line. Forward. Mm 
and even yes, this is uh, this is the goal, but it, this is not the end of my path. It will probably continue somewhere, and and I will uh, use this my this field line if I align it with the universe as we know that we're aligning it, our efforts with the universe I make it strong it's also like powerful and I send it like a letter it's one of the lines somewhere in the in the future if this is not the end this is just only the beginning Oh, that's amazing. As soon as I sent it, like I started drawing it, I had so much more energy. Not so much energy, but a feeling. It's very, it's fine and subtle, but noticeable. As soon as I drew this powerful line, It's truly as if I'm sending the message to the universe. Please. Well, that's probably from his his mouth. Highlighted it with nice red, soft red. This drawing maybe it's not as spectacular as some some other artwork, but what's important is in it the meaning and the power. For me, that the, I experienced and hope uh, use this power implemented for my projects future and the near future I mean near future right uh, right after this class You will be able to complete your drawing on your own. It's not much that I I can add. In addition, I will work on this. Like, uh, this will be my fixing element because this is my goal. Something I want to achieve within a period of time. Within a few months. And I will outline it, make it wider, more significant. And I might decorate it with some colors. Specific maybe with gold. to make it really important and a focal point of my drawing. I'm, I'm back in the classroom. I will be recording and adding free classes to my YouTube channel. You can help me very much with promoting 
knowledge of neurographica and my channel where I share, if not secrets, but some, some ideas. Uh, please comment on my video, share, subscribe, and uh, like. Uh, this is important for YouTube algorithm. They also have their own algorithm. And that, and when video decides that we, that people are interested, it will promote my videos and more people will be able to see them and uh, try this method. For those who are just beginning in Neurographica and you're watching me, I have uh, other videos more about the Neurographic line, principle of rounding and how to deal with uh, the limitation using this method of catharsis. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful drawing and good, good luck.